Hi folks, welcome back to Math with Captain Rod. I'm making this video here to uh, discuss the chain rule of differentiation. The chain rule of differentiation is very, very critical to understand to, uh, to have success in uh, your studies of calculus. So I'm going to talk about these three examples I've written out here. So first of all, let's talk about this one, sine of x squared. Now that's not sine times x squared, that's sine of x squared. So if you were to think about like, if a calculator was to give you a value, let's say x were 0.1. I'm just making up a number here. The first thing that would have to happen is the 0.1 would get squared, and then you take the sine of that. So there's really two functions here. There's like what is typically referred to as an inner function and an outer function. The inner function is the x squared, and the outer function is the sine function. Let's take a look at example two here. So again, the inner function is the 2x cubed plus x, right? Then whatever number that works out to be, that's raised to the fifth power. So there's an outer function there. And then the last example here, the inner function is the cosine x. The outer function is the cubic function. So you have to recognize when you're looking at a composition of functions, right? Not a product of functions, a composition of functions. So here, you know, f or sine x and g or x squared, what we are looking at right there is f of g of x. Okay? So when you differentiate, you apply the chain rule. And what I always do is, you know, um, start on the outside, work your way in. So I'm going to go through some examples of that. Let me get rid of this here. here. And I'm not going to worry about simplifying. The differentiation part is just going to be the first line. So when we differentiate this function, when we differentiate the sine first, the derivative of sine is cosine. So the first term is going to be cosine of x squared. This has now been differentiated. Then we move in and differentiate the inside function. So we're going to have times 2x. Now, just so that we're 100% clear, this is not, not, not equal to 2 cosine of x cubed. No, this is cosine of x squared, and then that number is times this. So really, this doesn't simplify at all. Uh, that's got to just stay put. And I'm just going to call that one. <clears throat> Next one. All right, so looking at this, uh, this function here, okay, the outer function is the fifth power. So what we're going to do is we're going to differentiate that. So we multiply by 5, and just stay with that the way it is for now, right? And then we subtract 1 from the power. All right, so now our fifth power function has been differentiated. Now we move inside and differentiate the inner function. And the next one is going to differentiate 6x squared plus 1. Let's go ahead and make this look a little green here. Now, other than maybe some cosmetic work, done because we differentiated it. All right, let's take a look at this third example of this animal here. And we need to recognize the different functions. One of them is the cosine function, that's our inner function, cosine x, and then the other one is this third power here. So when we differentiate this, um, differentiating the third power function first, that's going to be 3 times cosine x to the second power. Now we differentiate the inside function. The derivative of sin, uh, cosine x is minus sine x. Now, this is now done. It's differentiated to within some cosmetic work. We can uh, maybe do a minus solve or something. Anyway, so this video was just intended to, to um, make sure you understand when you're looking at a composition of functions and how you differentiate such using the chain rule of differentiation. You start outside, work your way in. I hope that this helps. Have a great day.